Okay, you guys, it's it's a prehistoric pets TV living the dream team t-shirt. It's team living the dream. Let me get that straight, because that's what I want. Everybody, everybody that's part of our channel. I hope you guys are all kind of have the attitude of you know what, do what you can and dream big and get as far as you can. You know what? Who cares if you don't reach the moon if you only make it to the stars? So anyway, this is a new shirt we got. Finally got a shirt going. It's been a long time since I had a shirt. Hope you guys have some fun. We're going to be giving some away. Uh, signed with me or Tim or anybody you want at the shop. And uh, hope you guys are having a good time on the channel. And tomorrow night at 6 p.m. we're having a, a live in the dream night. That means if you come down, uh, you can jump in and with, hold the big snake or hold whatever you want. We have them periodically. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll get more warning because you know it's a little bit easier but the, I don't always know when I can do them but this Sunday night 6 p.m. that's tomorrow I hope you guys can make it and for all you people out of state I'm sorry you can't but hey we got some cool shirts well you'll be there in spirit anyway peace out hope you have fun hope you enjoy this video okay well what the heck I always use I've been using that line a little bit too much today's a different day but today's a different day I got up this morning, went to the gym. I actually put my stuff on because I really was going to work on videos all day. I just edited a really cool video together. I got to say, all you Rugrats, you're awesome. You guys are absolutely cool and I uh, appreciate you following. And you know what? I'm sure you're going to see more of us because we're going to do some more cool stuff. And hey, check out this cool. We got all kinds of cool, crazy babies in this. So many, this guy can hardly hold himself. He just got engaged and he's, and don't tell anybody, but I think he's more excited. <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> See that look? He didn't argue, did he? Come on, what, what's our options here? So the mom was a Mojave and the dad was an Enchi Leopard Bling Fader Calico. Oh, this is that crazy man. Yeah. So we have a chance at a nine jean snake in both of these. Nine jeans? Yeah. And these ones will be head albino. Oh, baby. Okay, so we got nine jean snakes. Oh, yeah, and how many jeans? And this thing's got a billion jeans in it, too, right? She's a spinner blast yellow belly, and we bred her to Spinner blast yellow belly bred to a banana what? A banana Mojave or a super inchy. I believe the banana Mojave got her. Well, I hope it's not the super inchy, although it wouldn't be bad either way. So we're going to pull her clutch, and we're going to cut this clutch. Told you it'd be a little bit different. And you know what? Like I said, Jim editing all day, and here I am closing time. But I got dressed up for you guys I mean anyway let's cut some eggs because you're about tired of me go ahead don't get don't I don't want you to cut yourself you're so excited it's like Christmas morning oh man look at that snake <laughs> this thing's got flame <laughs> you like that oh yeah no the ho 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 <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, you guys. Look at the flames on the side of that snake, and that is really good looking snake. And I have this scary feeling that we're never gonna know what's in it until we breed it. Look at that, it's literally like red flames on a, that's a cool snake. And the coolest part is, that's not, I don't think that's everything. We actually hit a normal. Het for everything, it's not a normal, it's head albino. Yeah, 100% het for albino. Oh! What the heck? Hold on. Who's the dad? Oh! oh. <laughs> this isn't why he's getting married, guys. He's actually getting married like legit. There's no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so the who the dad thing is... Oh, no, it's still the same dad because he did have the butter gene in him. Okay. So it's still the same dad. Man. That thing, look at that. He's ready to come out. He is just about ready. He's got a little button. Look at the colors. Okay, so you did have the jeans to make that snake in there. It was pos butter, so. Well, the funny thing is, is you hear that pos butter. There's so many jeans in the father, we don't even know what he was. So we're, we're just guessing. Oh. So we're literally just guessing. Oh. That's cool. So there's the. Nice. There's some more of the jeans showing. What do you think that is? Definitely pin, definitely pastel, fire. It's a firefly pin at least. Might have some leopard in there. That looks like it might have leopard in it. I'm with the leopard. Got another head albino. Looks like a yellow belly head albino. What the?
Now what do we got here? Besides epicness. So that's all the genes maybe, huh? Yeah. There's so many genes, it's canceled out. We don't have a leucistic way, do we? Uh, we do, because it proved out butter. So there is oh. a butter Mojave. So that's a butter Mojave something else, because I can see pattern and I can see color in it that don't seem like normal. So that's a, that's a stupid billion gene snake. There's, I mean, that, I'll tell you right now, I don't know if you can see it there or not, but this thing's literally orange. It's literally got orange bands. I think I've seen that before. One of Kevin's crazy, you know, thingies. I don't know if it's literally a thingy, but because a thingy. One time I walked up to his, his table and said, wow, look at that thingy. And I looked down, the name of it was thingy. I thought, this is ridiculous. I think I'm kidding. There's too many genes going on and all that. Oh, there we go. Oh, Mojave, this is everything. This is a bunch of stuff. We got a leopard pin right there, it looks like, head albino. Oh. 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 That's a Mojave pinstripe. Uh, what else is in there? That's gotta be leopard. Leopard, Mojave, pinstripe. Fader, I mean. Fader. Wow. No butter. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Look at that snake, you guys. Is that incredible? Look at that. We'll have to call that thing a chainsaw or something because it's got like a... Look at the pattern. That snake is incredible. That's one of the prettiest ball pythons I've seen in a long time. I don't know. We've been catching a lot of cool ones. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't cut that whole clutch. <laughs> Gotta let you have some of the fun. <laughs> I cut this whole clutch. <laughs> But this one says a CL15. So this is a cuss. Uh, what part number is that for? Oh, that's the clutch number. I'm kidding. I know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> you fell for that hook, line, and sinker, guys. Dang, this razor blade's dull, which is good. I like dull razor blades. Because that way I don't cut myself. Line my fingers in there to make sure. Look at the side on that. It's funny is it looks like a regular snake, but then you start looking at this, you start looking closer, and it's all over the place. I guess it's, it, what is that? A leopard? It's the leopard and it's pastel. And Definitely pastel. Maybe yellow belly in there? Oh, that's what it is. It's a leopard yellow belly. What's this? That, that? looks like just a yellow belly in there. Yep. And this one right here is... I think it's nice. We had to have all these snakes for this dad just to even get part of it to see his genes. Because there's so many genes in the dad that they're scattered out all over the place. So we got a little bit of everything in there. And the coolest part about it is we get another crazy clutch right here to pull. I don't think I want to die that is. This how cool. This is the cool part about ball pythons. Check this out. Mm. Pretty tough clutch to pull, huh? A one-handed clutch pulling. You know what's funny? Is these eggs I can't do it with. And the reason why, you see how they got little bumps on them? They're not stuck together as good as most. So I did pull it with one hand anyway. I want to be real careful. Because that means they're not as stuck together as some. Eh, it's pretty good. I gotta say, better than I thought it would be. So this snake's got all kinds of cool genes. You can see it, obviously. Uh, what what you think it's only a, a what a spinner blast yellow belly a spinner oh yellow belly okay and the father is a either a banana mojave or the super wrenchy get this egg separated and can you do me a favor of course can you go grab me like eight of your favorite ball pythons for you guys we can't just end it with this little simple grand slam insane snakes coming out all over the place snakes that have patterns that. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. Look at that. Look at that snake. That snake is insane. Now, if you don't like that, are you a white snake person? Because that's really cool, too. And if you're not that, how about a, how about a flame-sided snake? Oh, that is so cool. I'm not even sure what this is, but I know one thing I like. It is cool looking. I love the, I love the way it got the Mojave pattern, but it's got a red 
flames up and down its side. Look at this part of it. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. I mean, I actually thought that was the umbilical cord wrapped around it. Now you can go. Hey, now I can go. What the heck is that? My cute little daughter over here telling me I can go now. Anyway, so this here is not what you think it is. This is probably what you think it is, but this isn't what you think it is. This is not what you think it is. This is what you think it is. Think I got you confused yet? Because I'll tell you right now, he argued with me a long time what this was, right? Long time. <laughs> <laughs> now that you look at us side by side, there's no question, right? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, this is a banana pie. Uh, T positive caramel pie, not your. That's why. See, it's got a straight tail. That's always a good sign. So anyway, it's really cool. It's really bright. I mean, can you imagine? That's a banana. That's a banana pie, and we can't. Man, we hope both these, both those guys are going to be put to work. Now, if that isn't cool enough, let's talk about a Mojave. Mojaves do some cool stuff. So that's a, that's a Mojave GHI. Absolutely a screamer. And uh, hopefully that background isn't ruining it. Let's 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 get it, let's get him in a crazy background. Don't worry, guys. He's fine. So that's really pretty. Did that help the, help show you the black? Cause it's really cool. Now check out this Mojave. It's an inchy banana Mojave, and uh, it is absolutely awesome. Did I miss any jeans in that? Not at all. Yeah. So anyway, look at that. It's got that same orangey color coming through on its side. And uh, it's a gorgeous snake, absolutely gorgeous. And if that isn't cool, what about this kind of pied? That's a spider pied. And spider pieds always end up like this pretty much. And it's really cool. So I thought I'd show that to you. And look at this little gem. And this is a nuclear spinner. Check this thing out. Is that cool or what? Absolutely insane. So that's what we were, when I first saw that, I thought maybe the same father had gotten that, but then we realized that all we did is prove out the father to have one gene that it was only possible. The father has so many genes, it's unidentifiable. Just like we really don't know what that is. I know it has Mojave in it, because I've seen that look. Not with the full you know, pinstripe in it. It's probably got, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Do you guys know what's in it? Come on now. If you do, comment below. You better comment below anyway. Tell us what you think is the coolest snake out of all these. Because there's a lot of cool snakes. Is it that guy? Is it that guy? Is it this guy? I mean, what's your favorite? What's your favorite one? So anyway, a bunch of cool ball pythons. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Hope you have a great week. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Tell me what you like about the videos that we're doing because I'm changing it up. And you know what? Tell me what you don't, what you dislike, but when you do, be kind to me, please. I can't, I'm just like, I'm old, you could break me. Anyway, I really do want to know what your opinion is, even if I don't like what you say. Just say it nice, if you can, if it's possible. Okay, you guys, take care. I hope you have an awesome week. Peace out from Prehistoric Pets. <laughs>